physics unit 30 theory video 2 uh, now when x-rays are produced they, are, they contain a whole range of energies uh, but the low energy x-rays are not able to pass through the uh, pass through the human body and because these x-rays are absorbed now in the next uh, next uh, lesson we will be learning about attenuation uh, so these are absorbed uh, by uh, uh, by the soft tissue so and they have because x-rays are uh, a part of ionizing, ionizing radiation it is harmful so it is if it does not go through the uh, human body and if it does not take part in the uh, uh, making of the x-ray uh, x-ray image there is no point allowing it to go through so as a result what we need to do is we have to filter them out how how we filter them out is using a uh, using an uh, using aluminium absorbers across the window of the tube that allows these x-rays to pass through to the body uh, then uh, we can control the intensity of the x-rays using electricity that is we can increase the if we increase the intensity of the current if we increase the current in the x-ray tube what happens is more electrons will be released and as a result uh, these electro these electrons will uh, produce a, a beam of greater in intensity the intensity of an x-ray beam is uh, known as the measure of energy passing through a unit area so more electrons passing per second will produce a greater intensity as a result more x-ray photons are released um, so then at the same time a more intense beam will produce an x-ray image uh, within a shorter period of time so um, to uh, to make sure that a person does, is not uh, uh, exposed to exposed uh, to this ionization ionizing radiation very much uh, it can be uh, it can be done quickly then uh, uh, x-ray attenuation uh, but before that let's write down a note on this write down um, when x-rays are produced a range of energies would be present the lowest energy x-rays are filtered out using aluminium absorbers which are placed across the window of the tube because they are not able to pass through the body leave a line and write the intensity of an x-ray beam is a measure of the energy passing through unit area if the current in the x-ray tube is increased more electrons per second will produce a beam of greater intensity and will form an image in a shorter time right now x-ray attenuation um, now when uh, x-ray photographs uh, are taken when x-ray go through the body bones absorb bones absorb um, uh, bones absorb uh, these x-rays so as a result uh, little radiation will arrive at the photographic film so it uh, it it cannot uh, pr produce any blackening then flesh and other soft tissues they are less absorbing so as a result the film gets darkened it gets black blackened it kind of gets burnt out like uh, so that is what happens if you place the photographic film uh, but uh, if you use uh, uh, in modern x-ray machines digital detectors are there so they will um, uh, they will obviously uh, use a digital system to detect this and uh, they are they have uh, different uh, uses because uh, they are easy to be uh, transferred and shared and everything uh, x-rays are a form of ionizing radiation like i said 
they ionize the atoms and molecules of the materials they pass through. Uh, so, uh, when X-rays get, get transferred, either some or all of their energy, these are X-ray photons, remember that. So, they are uh, absorbed, they are gradually absorbed as it passes through the material. So, this decrease in the intensity of the beam of X-rays when it is going through, a ma uh, through matter is known as attenuation. Um, so, that is something that we will have to uh, learn in detail. Write down X-ray attenuation. When a human body is exposed to X-ray, Uh, bones, bones absorb the X-ray photons, but the soft tissues and flesh will not be able to absorb the X-ray photons. As a result, the photographic film will look white while the other areas get blackened because of the X-rays. When X, leave a line and write, when X-rays pass through matter, its energy is absorbed in whole or in part by the matter and this is known as attenuation. Now let us uh, uh, see what is, uh, what is meant by decreasing intensity. So the intensity is the rate of energy transfer per unit cross-sectional area. So then we can relate it to power equation by I equals P upon A. P is the power, A is the cross-sectional area normal to the radiation. So the intensity I, this is not current, remember, the unit of intensity is watts per meter squared. P is power, area is meter squared. So you get watts per meter squared. So now, uh, when the intensity of this uh, of a collimated, uh, collimated uh, uh, beam of X-rays, when it passes through matter, it decreases. This decrease is an exponential decay. That means if it passes through one centimeter of material, if its intensity has decreased in half or to half, then uh, of the original value, then when it goes to two centimeters, it would become a quarter. That is half of the half. Uh, I hope you understand that. So, uh, you know, for each centimeter, it would become one uh, half, one upon four, and one upon eight, one upon sixteen, like that. I hope that makes sense. So, that is known as an exponential decay. So, this is something that we have learned earlier. And so, as a result, we can, uh, we can write another equation for the attenuation of X-rays in relation to what we have learnt earlier in the exponential curves, that is I equals I O e to the power negative mu x. So here we are using mu uh, as the absorption or attenuation coefficient of a material. Uh, it is the uh, attenuation or absorption coefficient of a material. Uh, so this uh, figure 30.5 uh, will show the pattern of absorption. Uh, so, as you can see, the body, the flesh and the bone uh, is there. The flesh attenuation is uh, slower or lesser. Uh, then bones will, it gets attenuated faster. However, they both show uh, a <coughs> uh, exponential decay of the intensity. So, as a result, we say that um, uh, the uh, bones have bones have a higher attenuation coefficient 
um, and uh, the flesh would have a lesser attenuation uh, coefficient because x-rays uh, because the bones are better absorbers of uh, x-rays so the equation is i equals i o e to the power negative mu x uh, that is for the attenuation of x-rays as they pass through a uniform material uh, the mu the uh, the attenuation coefficient mu would have um, a unit of per meter or per centimeter or per millimeter etc uh, that will help us out to uh, get an idea now let's go to worked example one to get a better idea of how this is going to be used the attenuation or absorption coefficient of bone is 600 uh, 600 per meter for x-rays of energy 20 kilo electron volts a beam of such x-rays has an intensity of 20 watts per meter squared calculate the intensity of the beam after passing through a 4 millimeter thickness of bone so i o we have they have given 20 watts per meter squared uh, then x has been given as 4 millimeters so we'll have to convert that into uh, meters 0 0.004 meters then mu has been given as 600 per meter now we use the uh, exponent uh, exponent uh, value the value of new mu uh, mu x negative mu x is what we uh, calculate first um, i o e negative mu x so when you use the e value on uh, the uh, calculator you will have to find that and then multiply that by 20 here that is what you need to do so you substitute the values and uh, do this so the intensity of the x-ray beam will have been reduced uh, to about 10 percent that is uh, originally it was uh, 20 uh, watts per meter uh, to meter squared is it has reached uh, it has reduced to one point 8 watts per meter squared when it passes through 4 millimeters of bone i hope that makes sense to you right then um, there is something called half thickness that we need to uh, understand uh, when we compare different graphs or equations for the attenuation of x-rays uh, uh, with the uh, uh, when they pass through a material with radioactive decay of uh, radioactive decay graphs uh, and also the discharge of a, a capacitor they have all of exponential decays so this half life of a radioactive isotope we know that so in a in the similar way we talk about half thickness of a absorbing material so this is the thickness of a material that will reduce the transmitted intensity of x-ray beam of a particular frequency by half or two half of its original value so that is the thickness through which it becomes half so in this in the worked example the 20 watts per meter squared what is the thickness that is needed for it to become 10 watts per meter squared that is the half thickness i hope that you understood that also write down write down a note x-ray attenuation when x-ray radiation pass through human body and fall onto a photographic film Uh, the 
film get blackened when more when more radiation arrives while the other areas remain white where the intensity has been reduced this gradual decrease of intensity when it when x rays pass through matter is called attenuation this is because x rays are form of ionizing radiation and when it ionizes atoms and molecules of the material through which it passes it transfers its energy to it leave a line and write intensity is the rate of energy transfer per unit cross sectional area as a result intensity becomes related to power by i that is intensity i equals capital p upon capital a i intensity p power a cross sectional area normal to the radiation intensity as a result would have a unit of watts per meter square intensity shows an exponential decay meaning that going through similar thickness the intensity reduced by half as a result we can develop an equation to show the attenuation of x rays as they pass through a uniform material i equals i o e to the power negative mu x where i o is the initial in intensity before absorption x is the thickness of the material i is the transmitted intensity and mu is the attenuation or absorption coefficient of the material because bone leave a line and write because bones are better absorbers of x rays than flesh it would have a higher attenuation coefficient put a star and write down unit of attenuation coefficient e, uh, coefficient mu is per meter or per centimeter etc leave a line put another star and write down similar to radioactive decay discharge of capacitors the graphs of x ray attenuation shows exponential decay as a result similar to half life of nuclear decay we can talk about half thickness leave a line and write half thickness of a material is the thickness of material that will reduce the transmitted intensity of an x ray beam of a particular frequency to half its original value i hope you understood
if you understand please do question number three four five um, if you did not understand ask me questions